God's grace and mercy brought us through. Thank you, Jesus. Have mercy. It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your, with your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word on your speaker platform and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are, and we are so glad, so glad, so glad to do it. Amen. First of all, let me welcome everyone to the program on this beautiful, beautiful Friday. The last day of some work week. I say some work week because many don't have... Don't have a job, and men do have a job, and Fridays usually be the last week to work and payday for some. So I know some that has a payday are happy, and some that not too happy. But, but let me <laughs> let me welcome everyone to the program, especially if this be your first time listening to the program. Do not make it your last time. Come back and listen some more. The Lord has blessed us all with another wonderful, wonderful day. A day that neither you and I, neither you and I deserve. A day that the Lord and only the Lord bless us with. Because knowing that many have already passed. But we on this side of heaven. The Lord has given us all. A second chance. Another chance to make it right with him. Another chance to walk closer and closer with him. The only thing we can do is thank the Father for giving all of us another opportunity. You know, neither you and I had nothing to do with it. But the Lord gave us this day so that we can have a second opportunity. It was a psalmist who said in Psalms uh, 118 verse 24, This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you, my friends, but Brother Oscar, he is going to rejoice and he is going to uh, be uh, glad in it. We here in Miami, Berg, Ohio, we are doing fine. We are blessed to see this wonderful, beautiful day. The weather people says is 88 degrees, 50% chance of rain, 20% chance of precipitation tonight, humidity at 56 degrees, dew point 69, and pressure 30. And my friends, that right there spelled out a beautiful, warm day. It's definitely summer. People call it summer. I guess it is summer with temperature in the 80s. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Again, we have a beautiful program for you. Of course, we're doing a lesson uh, do the potter, P-O-T-T-E-R, have power over the clay? Do the potter have power over the clay? And I put that in the question mark because I want every one of you that is listening uh, to think about that, do 
the potter, which is God, have power over the clay, which is you and I. Okay, and, and that's something to, I believe that's a question that we all uh, need to ponder. Because as we look around this world today, we see the directions that the world is going in and the many problems that do exist as we live and, uh, and so many headaches that come along with it. Again, do the potter have power over the clay? And when we get to that point of the, of the, of the uh, program, have your Bibles out so that you can study along with your brother here. Brother Oscar York. And of course, we're going to be playing a couple of songs. Our first selection will be My Soul is Anchored in the Lord by Redeemed. And then, of course, we'll go into our prayer time and play our prayer anthem. Sweet Hour of Prayer, Radiance a cappella. And after our prayer time, we're going to play Praise and Harmony. Bill my life. So my friends, just relax. Go have a cup of your favorite beverage, beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, a fresh squeezed glass of lemonade, fresh squeezed glass of orange juice, soda water, soda pop, and just relax. And if you're at home reclining your reclining chair, or just stretch out on your couch or on the floor while you listen to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're driving, trying to get to point A to point B, keep, keep on looking, keep on driving, keep your eyes on the road. But at the same time, keep on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're in the gym, exercising, jogging, or whatever, trying to lose weight, or trying to get in huff and puff, <laughs> huff and puff, <laughs> keep your earbuds on and keep on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York, on chatting from the word. All right, all right, all right, where are we? We will be right back after these messages. All right, we are back, and we are glad to be back, and we hope that you all feel the same. I hope you feel the same. I hope you are so gl so glad that Brother Oscar is on and that you have your ears on and you are in the house with Brother Oscar York on this fine, fine Friday. We hope that you are. And here is our next selection. My soul is anchored in the Lord, redeemed. Don't see, don't see, 
and the winds keep blowing my
Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, that was redeemed. My soul been anchored in the Lord. My friends, when you're going through some storms, when you're going through some hard times, and when it seems like the hard time won't cease, the best thing you can do is anchor your soul in the Lord and hold on. Cause, because as long as we live in this life and we're Christians, you know, them storms going to beat. The wind's going to blow. And then sometimes we just have to just hold on and hold on tight to our Lord. Amen. And amen. I'd love to remind you that you are listening to Chatting from the Word. With your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Today we're discussing the Bible and problems Christians faces today. Amen and amen. This is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just send it to my email address. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just send it to my email address. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Oh, 
It is our prayer time, my friends, and if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Words, just email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. Or you can message it to me to Messenger on Facebook, and we will receive your prayer request. And we do have a book on Facebook dedicated to the show here. The uh, name of it is, of course, Chatting from the Word, with your host, Brother Oscar York. That's OscarYorkPublishing.com. Or, as you listen to the program, it is a place where you can uh, put your comments on. You can, of course, put your prayer requests there also. It's not too, too personal, all right? Uh, you know, lately we've been praying for the condition of the world and what uh, is going on at this time with the coronavirus and what uh, the policemen killing uh, blacks, majority of blacks. That's why we say black lives matter, although every life does matter. Because if you ask your brother here, one person that dies is too many. One is too many, let alone. A whole lot of us. So we need to pray for the condition of the world and and the uh, those in the political world that's leaving us in a physical sense. We want to pray that they do, of course, what is right and in concern of its uh, citizens. Before we approach the throne of throne grace, we love to read from Psalms, the 14th division. Here David writes, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that, that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven, upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Have all the works of iniquity? No knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread? And called not upon the Lord. There, there were they in great fear. For God is in the generation of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor. Because the Lord is his refuge. Oh that the salvation of, a, of Israel will come out of Zion. When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Amen. And amen. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, our God, Father, we recognize that you sit high and look low. Father, we recognize that you care about us, your children. And Father, at the same time, we recognize your mercy and your grace. Oh, Father, we, 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 your man, we just filthy rags, even when we do our best. Father, that's why we need your grace and your mercy. 
Father, sometimes living down here on this cruel world gets tough for your people. And sometimes we just need to hang on closer, closer to you and the Lord so that we can make it through the things that we are going through, Father. Father, just have mercy on us. Father, just hold us tightly in the palm of your hand. And hold us far so that when the storm comes and beats, when trouble comes, we can still hang in there for you, Father, because we recognize trouble will always come. But as long as we anchor our soul in you, Father, we recognize that everything will be all right. Oh, Father, we come thanking you for this wonderful day in which you allow us to see. Father, we come thanking you for your son Jesus, the only begotten son that you sent down on this cruel world to die on the cross so that we may have salvation. Oh, Father, we come praying for the families who have lost loved ones to the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort their mind and their soul. And without them to know, Father, things happen for a reason. And for a purpose. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that have contracted this coronavirus, Father. Those uh, that they are sick, Father, we pray that you heal their bodies. Allow them to gain their strength so that they can be well and whole once again. Oh, Father, we come praying again for those that lost loved ones to this dreadful disease, Father. Comfort their hearts, minds, and soul, and only way you know how. Oh, Father, we come praying for the political world at this time. Help them to get it together. Help them to do what's right for the citizens. Help them to understand and to love and to look up to you with coming their help. Oh, Father, we come praying for the Church of Christ, the body of Christ. Father, we pray that after all the pandemic has passed, after we can come back together again as a whole, as your body, Father, we pray that we can continue on doing what's right, continue on teaching your truth, and continue on showing the world Christ in us. Oh, Father, we come praying for each of our listeners that's listening today. Father, we pray that regardless of what's going on around them, regardless of what they may be going through, that they anchor their soul in you. They keep their hands in your unchanging hands. Oh, Father, we come praying for the program, Chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that we can always be a light in each community we are heard in. Father, we pray that we can keep preaching, teaching the truth. Father, and Father, we pray for the lesson. Do the power have power over the clay? Help us, Father, to say the right thing. Help us, Father, so that we may help someone to see you much clearer and come and asking what must they do to be saved. And Father, of course, I pray for my condition too, my situation. Help us to find a place to live. Help us to keep continue on this program. Just help us, Father, because we need your help. And Father, we just want to thank you all over the place. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for praying along with us. And again, we hope that we prayed for something that was on your mind. Amen and amen. We will be right back after these messages. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. We are back. And we hope that you are glad that we are back. Back. At this point, we want to ask for sponsorship. If you can help us out here, chatting from the Word, you're welcome to do that. We hope that you do. We do have an account on PayPal. 
Just pull up the PayPal web page and put in my email address, which is lowercase york3443 at gmail.com. And you can put in any amount you desire. And keep on listening to us here at Chatting from the Word. Uh, we come on at 2, and I know most people probably won't listen to us here after 2. And uh, we, we're so thankful that you are listening, and that's, that's the biggest part that Brother Oscar is so glad about, that many of you are listening to our program here on Chatting from the Word. It's just a good thing just to be with you every evening, and every afternoon, I mean, and every day, Monday through Fridays at 2, and then on Saturday evenings at 7, of course. Of course, we would be on tomorrow if it would be. The Lord's will at 7. So we are so glad that you're listening. Keep on listening to us here at Chatting from the Word. But while you're listening to us, tell others about us here on Chatting from the Word. Share the program on Facebook. Share the program on LinkedIn. And on LinkedIn, I am so appreciative for everyone that's on LinkedIn. And most of you do send me a message. Allow me to know that you received the program and you like the program. And I'm so thankful for that very much. And I am making a lot of friends on Leaking In. I love my Leaking In friends and my business friends. So you all, we hope once you get the show, you hear it and can hear me talking about my Leaking In partners. And of course on Facebook, we are sharing it on Facebook and then my friends on Facebook, we hope that you all are also listening. You bring joy to Brother Oscar's heart when you do listen to our program at 2. And we always hope that we are putting a snap in your Christian walk. And you can also use this program as a good tool to tell others about Jesus Christ. If you can't say the right words to lead them to Christ, let them hear the show. Let them Listen to the program, and you listen to the program with them so that if they have any questions after the show, you can answer their questions. Or if you can't answer their question, get someone you, that, that you know know God's Word to answer the question. And if that doesn't uh, 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 work, uh, send an email on a question that we will answer the question for you. Amen. And amen. And if you ever want to talk with your brother, you're welcome to do that. Like I said, you can send an email, uh, send a message to my email address. You already know what the email is. I told you so many times. And, of course, we have a page on Facebook, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar, uh, slash OscarYorkPublishing.com. You can leave a line or two there. And we do have a web page. Again, our web page address is OscarYorkPublishing.com. And you can leave a line or two there. But why are you on our web page? We do have a bookstore. Your brother here has authored two books. My first book is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, which sells for $21.50, and Bridges of Friendships, which also sells for $21.50. And if you purchase both books, both books are $43. Now, we're not saying you, you must purchase both books, but we're saying you can purchase one, and that's just only twenty one fifty. And proceeds will go towards the program here, Chatting from the Word. Now, you know my motto. We say it every day on the air. When you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. Yes, it does. It comes power. So go visit OxyRPublishing.com and order you a book and read. Now, the internet networks we come on are Chrome, WebView, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, ParPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Parchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, uh, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Podcast Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, 
Lincoln in Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Play or App Store and download Freaker Podcast app. And once you download it, look us up, Chatting from the Word. And when you find us, put us in your favor so that when 2 o'clock come Monday through Fridays, you can have a beautiful program with us. And you can listen in with us. We want to apologize for that noise. That's the young man outside cutting the yard of the apartment building. So we must apologize if you can hear the noise. All right. All right. Where are we? Where are we? Listen to that noise on the outside. (laughs) What we doing? And we want to apologize uh, for that. You know, some things uh, we just can't help. All right. We want to do our next election before the message, which will be Praise and Harmony. Build my life. Praise and Harmony. Build my life. And here we go.
Amen, amen, and amen. That was praise and harmony. Bill, my life. And, and the one that they asked me to build their life is God, my friends. And we hope that you would all do the same. Let the Lord build your life. Follow him. Follow Christ. And once you follow Christ, you recognize that everything is going to be all right. Regardless of what may come to you, bad or good. Because that's the way the Lord is molding us and making us. All right, all right, all right. We'll be right back with the message after these messages. All right, we're back. We are back, and we are glad that you are with us. Uh, have you been with us for several months? You know, we've been doing a study of the book of Romans, the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Roman church to uh, strength, to strengthen their faith. To strengthen their beliefs and in a situation that is not suitable for Christians. That, that's the best way Brother Oscar can say that. Because what we got to recognize that the Roman church was in the Roman Empire. And the Roman Empire, of course, they are uh, be mystic, or can I say demonistic, or with Satan, and of course... Uh, the two worlds there, uh, God's world and demonistic world, do collide at times because God don't have anything to do with sin or uh, with evil. And of course, the Roman church was going through some changes and wondering about this and wondering about that. And Paul wrote them a letter. Paul talked with them. Taught them lessons about being a Christian. He said, you now are a Christian. You're in the body of Christ. Certain things we can do and, and to overcome some problems that uh, this kind of world uh, uh, give us. And it sounds like to me, I don't know if it's to you, that sounds like the world we live in today, isn't it? Uh, where the world is doing the opposite of what God wants them to do. The world is giving us a lot of hard times and a lot of uh, problems that we have to uh, maneuver through. And, and it's just a good thing just to uh, rest in the Lord. And I believe this is what Paul is trying to convey to the Roman church here. Regardless of what's going on around you, we you must still... Keep firm in the Lord, even under persecution, because uh, the Roman church was going through some persecutions. They were fed to the lions. They was crucified. They were uh, hung upside down. They were uh, uh, cooked in a frying pan like chicken. They were boiled in hot water. And, and, and things like that was going on at the hands of the Roman Empire and the Roman soldiers who, I guess you can compare the Roman soldiers today as you would compare uh, the policemen of today that's killing us uh, black men and, and, and persecuting us today. But here in chapter 9, what we want to do is to uh, 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 let you know the message that Apostle Paul has for the Roman church here. And Apostle Paul, we want to begin with, with verse, let's begin with verse 17. We, we, we kind of discussed that on yesterday, and we just want to read it briefly to connect the next thought that Paul has here. And here, Paul said, For the scripture said unto, unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might shew my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Remember on yesterday, we, we said sometimes God brings things or people in place so that 
things may occur and how we compare Pharaoh to uh, 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 President Trump today. You, you never know what God's will is with that, but we only know that the message of God is salvation. You know that, and I know that. And in verse 18, he said, Therefore, had he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he harden. That was say, then unto me, Why do ye yet find fault? For who had resisted his will? Many today resist his will, don't they? Many today do not recognize God's will for man. Many today are wrestling with what is God's will. I heard a young lady on TV say it the other day, we're trying to figure out what God's will is. And many today are confused on God's will. But I'm a true believer that the Lord sent us to things to learn of his will. God sent us through trials and tribulation so that we can learn of his will. God sent us through trials and tribulations called we can cling much closer and closer to him and as uh, our redeemed things hang on to the anchor. He's our anchor. He will keep us together. He will keep us anchored and we can continue on doing his will. And then in um, uh, verse 19, verse 20 says, Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against God? Shall a thing form say to, to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? And that's dealing with our uh, subject. Do the, the power have power over the clay? Do we have the right to tell God why? Do we have the right to tell God why this and that is happening? Do we have the right to tell the maker how to build us and make us and mold us Why he had given us a makeover? Sometimes the Lord has to give us a makeover so that we can see his power. So that we can change in our lives. Because that's God telling you and me. When things is occurring around us or to us, that we need to make a change. We need the Lord of the Lord to build our lives. And praise and harmony just finished singing. But most of us, we resist. We resist the Lord building our lives because we fight against God. We want to tell God, God, why we, why you allow me to go through this? Why you allow me to be homeless? Why you allow me to be hungry? Why you allow me to do this? Why you allow me not to have the the, the job I want? Why you don't allow me to make money like I see people on TV? But in the entertainment field, make money. Well, I can't be like other brothers and, and sisters that have it well off. Sometimes God sends us through different kind of trials and tribulations and temptations so that he can mold us, make us the people he wants us to be. And our will should be saying, allow his will to become the to be. To be, to be. Thy will shall be done, like, like Jesus said in the Garden of Gethsemane. But thy will be done. Not my will, but thy will be done. And we must allow God's will to be seen in us. We must let God's will be done. We're going to end the lesson here. The lesson is getting good, and we're going to finish it off on Monday. We're going to get back off into the lesson Monday, and we hope that you join us tomorrow night at 7, where we are doing is. Uh, the Music Edition Saturday night. So join us tomorrow night. And we'd be happy if you listen to us live. It's just a blessing. It's just a blessing to the program uh, when you do do that. Listen to us live at 2. It's on Facebook. You go to YouTube. Or you can go to the Spreaker 
the Spreaker uh, platform itself, uh, the Spreaker app, and pull up that app and listen to the program too. We're so glad that we had this time together. Just to spend some time together praising the Lord, hearing a beautiful lesson, and praying for one another. We hope all have a wonderful day, the rest of the day, and to enjoy this beautiful, beautiful evening. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, thou be thy name. Thy kingdom has come, thy will is being done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we thank you for all your blessings today. We thank you, Father, for molding and building us. Father, we thank you, Father, for your son Jesus, who died in, on Calvary Mountain, that we too is unselfish act, may have salvation. We come praying for the problems of the world, the policemen, the, those that are getting killed by the hands of policemen, the coronavirus, and those that are, have, uh, have, have, copied, uh, have got it, and those that don't think it's here, those that are taking it foolishly. Father, we pray for them also. And Father, we pray for all of our listeners. Help them have a wonderful, wonderful day. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest with and by with us all. In Jesus' name, until we meet again. Amen and amen. Again, it was nice chatting with you today from chatting. From the word, bye-bye. May all of you be safe out there. Bye-bye. Oh